Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 15th through the 21st. This is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising signs. So Scorpio, for this reading I am using the Bianco Nero tarot deck. I will show you the boxes here. All right, Bianco Nero Tarot, and then I'm also going to be pulling you a Messages from your Animal Spirit Guides Oracle Card by Stephen D. Farmer. These are two new decks. I've been loving both of them, especially this tarot deck. So uh, if you do like these decks, definitely let me know. I will keep using them. All right. Okay, Scorpio, so very interesting. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. So definitely I'm reading for some Scorpio females. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I could be reading for some females. Another female could be significant here this week. The Empress can be your mother. Uh, a woman in your life who is significant. If it's not you, this could be a woman in, around you that's significant here this week. She can be a mother, but she does not have to be. So we have the Empress. We also have the Seven of Wands. Interesting. Seven of Wands is, is a very passionate energy. This is someone who's standing their ground. They're fighting for what it is that they want. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Swords here. We have the Seven of Swords underneath the Ace of Swords. Interesting. Um, maybe some of you Scorpios that I'm reading for, maybe, maybe you were lied to. Maybe someone tried to deceive you or get away with something. Um... But that will come to light. That truth will, will surface. Um, maybe some of you are taking this person on with the Seven of Wands. Very interesting, interesting, Scorpio. And if I look at what's underneath the Seven of Swords, we do have the King of Wands. And so it, it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries person. And then we have the Queen of Cups underneath the King of Wands. Yeah, so victory, truth, clarity coming in. Maybe some of you are going to cut someone out of your life, uh, especially if there was cheating. The Empress can be like another woman. So very, very interesting. Uh, the overall energy is the Seven of Pentacles. And this is you planting seeds. Uh, for some of you, you are starting something new. With the Empress here, you are planting those seeds. This is that very fertile energy. Even if you have to be patient, Scorpio, uh, this is that very fertile energy. So it's a good time to plant those seeds. With hard work uh, and determination, those seeds will sprout. Um, so some of you, that's what you're doing. And now maybe you have to fight to be able to do this in some way uh, maybe just be courageous for some of you maybe someone has has tried to block you something like that um, from planting these seeds other Scorpios if you've already been invested like in a project if you've already planted seeds with something you've invested time and energy and things are not growing the way that you'd like uh, you could be asking yourself some important questions here this week, Scorpio. Like, do I want to continue investing in this? It could be a relationship. It could be a project. It could be work-related. Um, you know, because I read for some people that are retired. I read for, you know, many different types of people. So uh, some of you are basically evaluating the situation here this week. Do you want to continue on planting any seeds here, investing in this? Now, we're starting with strength and the queen of wands. So we did just see the king of wands here at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, this is on the relationship front. Um, I could be reading for some Scorpios that maybe you have Leo in your chart. 
a Leo person could be significant um, with strength in the Queen of Wands. So maybe something happened with this Queen of Wands or if this is your energy, Scorpio, for you Scorpio females, you might just need to basically be strong here this week with strength. Um, for some of you, you're standing your ground here. There's something that you want. And in order for you to be successful, Scorpio, you're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to rely on this inner strength. But as long as you basically don't back down, you will be triumphant here with strength. You, you have what it takes to get over this, to get through this. And we have the Ten of Swords here. So because we just seen that Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, I mean... Some of you, maybe you could have been lied to, or maybe someone tried to take advantage of you. Ten of Swords is the worst being behind you. You went through a difficult time. That is a cycle that's completing. This is a time that you're actually moving away from. But this week, I mean, some of you might need to go within. You might need to rely on this inner strength here. Um, and that can be you kind of waiting, staying calm, being patient when, when that's needed, and then stepping up to the plate when you feel as though the, t you know, the time is right. Um, with strength and then also the hanged man. This is, this is some patient energy here. So we see you planting those seeds. We see some of you being patient, looking at something very closely, being patient. Maybe you're waiting on news, waiting on, on hearing from someone because we do have the Knight of Cups here. So we do have news that's on its way. This is news, an offer, a proposal that's coming in, an invite that's coming in with the Knight of Cups. And for those of you that this is on the relationship front, if someone betrayed you, if some if someone did something to you, Scorpio, um, the Knight of Cups can be someone who's coming through with an apology. Someone saying, you know, that they're sorry. And here with the Seven of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, some of you might go off, spend that time alone. You might be trying to maybe see something from a, a different perspective. If this is someone you want to forgive, if this is someone you want to be with, you will have to basically let go here. We do have the Nine of Swords, so try to stay out of your head. I'm definitely reading for some Scorpios that this is on the love front. So maybe something happened. This person might want forgiveness or maybe you want forgiveness. Mental energy here though. Nine of Swords could be staying up at night. Maybe what's needed is, is, is basically just letting go. So allow things to happen that are meant to happen. If you're fearing the, the worst, release those fears. Because we have the world here. So something is coming full circle. Something could be coming to a close. Now for some of you Scorpios, that could be like a chapter or a phase of your life. Here we have the King of Cups. So in particular, you male Scorpios, something could be coming to a close. Maybe what's needed is basically just allowing it to close. With the hanged man surrendering, staying out of your head, maybe needing to plant new seeds for tomorrow. And I like how the, the king of cups here is, is focusing on the future. He's looking forward. And so that's very much what's needed here at this time.
So yeah, such an interesting reading, Scorpio. Um, but your inner strength here, this is going to help you get through this. Maybe some of you King of Cups are dealing with this Queen of Wands. Definitely have Leo energy here. Let's pull you an additional guidance card. Scorpio, what else does Scorpio need to know for this week? Additional guidance for Scorpio. And the Empress does represent growth. So those of you that, you know, you've been working on a project or if this is something going on within your career, maybe you've been trying to move up within your career. Maybe you've been planting those seeds, trying to make some changes. You are, you are seeing that growth. I think that some of you, it's just taking some time so try to stay positive. Do things that take your mind off of this. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself with the Nine of Swords and the Empress. Um, especially you Scorpio uh, females. Pay attention to your health here this week. Take extra good care of you. Okay, interesting. We have mouse. You're overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what's going on. That's interesting. Hmm. So, for some of you needing to look closer, pay attention to the details, especially if you're making any changes here this week before maybe making any important decisions maybe needing to go off and spend that time alone. Think about it thoroughly um, to, avoid, to avoid making mistakes, to catch things before they happen. For some of you, this is, this is very important. So interesting, I wanna see what's at the bottom of, of the deck. Rattlesnake, the experiences that you are presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. Okay, so I'm reading for some Scorpios that, yeah, I mean, you could be a healer in some way. I mean, that could be something that you're actually moving towards maybe doing. Um, some of you are maybe simply healing yourself because we see something completing and we see that some of you went through a difficult time. Um, and especially you Scorpio females, we see some of you uh, here this week needing to definitely pay attention to your health. Um, definitely needing to pay attention to your health here this week. Needing to get enough sleep. Take good, extra good care of you. And if something's been bothering you, don't overlook it. Okay, Scorpio, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. The link is below. Have a great week.